Welcome to the Fit Mama podcast where it's all about gaining your health back as a busy woman and mom, and doing it without sacrificing time with your family or business. Here is your host, mompreneur and Fit Mama health coach, Angela Campbell. Um, I wanted to come on here today because, well, it's Monday and it's the first Monday of 2021 and I don't know about you, but I'm super excited for what this year has to come. And I hear so many people say, well, it can't be worse than 2020, right? So here's my, here's my, um, our preacher has been, uh, really preaching a lot about being, uh, being the voice. Um, and that's my goal for this year is to be a voice a little bit more. I haven't been as active on this, on my page, on my own personal page, where have I been hiding, right? Say hi for sure. If you are able to hear me though, I want to make sure you can hear me. Um, and, uh, and, and, uh, I'm, I'm going to share some thoughts that I have this morning. I, uh, spend my mornings focusing on God and myself. I highly encourage you to focus on yourself. You have to focus on yourself in 2021. And I'm encouraging you, anybody that's listening to this whatsoever, um, and especially any women and mom, obviously being a woman and being a mom, it's near and dear to my heart. A lot of my messages go directly to you. And I hope that you get the message because it is that why can't this be the year of you? And, and that's the title of this video. Hey guys, what's up, Crystal? Hey, Jen, what's up, Mama? Um, is it now or never for you? And that and what do I mean by that? Like, have you have you uh, over the last few years just been neglecting yourself? Like you keep putting yourself last, and you're not making time for yourself. Like if this is you, that's what I mean by that. Like. Um, and put, and put me in the comments if you can totally relate to that. You guys, because is it now or never for you? And what do I mean by that? Like I talk to women all the time, every single day. Hey Laura, what's up girl? Um, that it's constantly like they are, they're at a place of I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, or I'm now at a point where I have serious health issues because of the lack of taking care of myself. Um, and that's what I mean by that. Is it now or never? Um, and why can't 2021 be about you? And that is going to be a lot of the messages that I'm going to be putting out from, for, for, from here on out, right? Like, um, because one, I, I feel I was there uh, a little over two years or actually it hasn't even been two years ago. It's about, about a year and a half ago. I hit that, uh, rock bottom, so to speak, where I wasn't taking care of myself. I was doing and doing and doing, and I wasn't being very intentional. I was running around stressed out in a bad mood, yelling at my kids, being so impatient with my husband. I was, and, and just going through the motions of life, living on coffee. I wasn't working out. I wasn't watching what I was eating, although I was preaching it to you guys that listened to me. <laughs> um, and I, and I, and, and I got to a place where I was just sick and tired of it, you know, and I was living on coffee and certain things happened in our in our world my son even got hurt and and because I felt like it was uh, me neglecting myself that led to all the things that happened right and so my mission for 2021 is uh, my word if you have a word in 2021 drop it below I'd love to know like what your word is I don't like New Year's resolutions I'm never gonna ask you or encourage you to set a New Year's resolution because such a small tiny percent of people actually stick to those past the first two weeks, maybe they may make it the entire month of January, but they don't usually last past that. Um, so I don't, I don't like New Year's resolutions. Um, I like words. Um, I like goals. You should be setting your goals uh, anyway. If you have specific goals, definitely drop them in the comments. But I want to really encourage you to May 2021 about you. Be selfish. Be selfish. I love it, Linda. Faith is your word. That's awesome. I love it. Mine is growth um, and growth, meaning um, not growth in business, but growth in myself because I've really learned. Hey, baby. <laughs> there, my little man is trying to steal my notes. Um, I really learned over the last year and a half of my journey um, that I have to put myself, I have to put God first and then I have to put myself. Now, everybody's beliefs are different. I'm never going to pour mine on you and expect you to do exactly what I do. I want you to do you, but this year has to be about you and taking back your health and taking back your life, making you a priority, right? Um, and that's what I mean by that. Now, what is it now or never for you? And if you're at that place that you feel like it's now or never, then now is the time. Now is the time. If you're not in our Facebook group, we do all kinds of stuff and we're going to be talking about this stuff all year and then some definitely get in it. I'll drop the comments below. It is a women only group. Sorry guys. Um, but one of the best messages that I heard the, the other day, um, sorry, my son is literally trying to knock my camera over. <laughs> 
He's a mess. Um, <laughs> um, one of the best messages I heard the other day was from Stephen Furtick. If you listen to Stephen Furtick, put Stephen in the comments. Like, I love him. He's a pastor, and he has some seriously amazing messages. I start my days a lot of times with his message first. Um, and one of the best messages he said the other day was about your joy. Like, w your joy comes from your priorities. Like, you can't just choose to be, I want to be joyful today. I want to be joyful for the rest of my life. It's not a switch you can just flip. Your joy comes from your priorities. And if you are not on your priority list, I promise you're missing out. But even more, more importantly, so are your babies. Like, if you... If you find yourself super tired all the time, maybe your monster mom, maybe you're constantly griping at your kids, maybe you and your husband are constantly fighting, um, or maybe it, you're just uh, tired, you're snapping at people at your office, or whatever scenario looks like for you, it boils back to you not being on your priority list, you guys. And I learned that the hard way. I was not a very... I wasn't a very uh, pleasurable person to be around, um, and but it took me realizing that. You can't tell me that because I was I was that miserable anyway. You cannot tell me that was the case. Uh, I had to learn it myself, you guys. So your joy comes from your your priorities. So I really highly encourage you. One, if you don't have a word yet for 2021, find one, think about it, put some thought into it, and I would love to hear what that is for you. Um, set goals for the year, not New Year's resolutions. Holy cow. Set goals for the year, but I also encourage you to take it a step further. Set your goals, break them down into monthly goals and then even weekly goals, but you also have to make a plan of action. What are your action steps going to be for you to get to where you want to be in 2021, right? But the biggest action step that you have to take is focusing on you. You, 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 you. I'm going to say this a lot over this year, so please be ready. Put you in the comments with all caps. You, 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 you have to be on the priority list. If you are not finding yourself very joyful in life, in your job, uh, in your marriage, in your the time that you spend with your kids, like you're just constantly bickering and all the things, right? Um, joy, joy's missing. And the only way to get that joy back is with priorities getting aligned and you have to be on that priority list. You guys, I cannot stress it enough. And here's something that I wanna share with you about putting yourself on a priority list. Um, not, not just asking, Hey, are you on your list? Cause if you're listening and you're resonating with anything I'm saying, you're probably not on your list. Um, and, and that's okay. Know that you're probably more of the norm than the opposite. And it's a lot of work to put yourself on a priority list and it is baby steps. Um, and I don't mean just put yourself on the list cause I need to lose some weight in 2021. I, I want you to go deeper than trying to lose weight. Do you need to lose weight? Okay. That's great. Let's set a goal. But dig deeper and figure out, like, why do you need to lose weight? Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to do all these things? Why do you want to be a healthier version of you? Like, what is important to you in your life that you're missing right now because you're not healthy or you're not taking care of yourself? Um, so if you're not on your list, uh, if you spent, here's another question. If you spent 2020 saying, I don't have time for me, I don't have time for me, I don't have time for me, I want you to listen up because I hear that. 95% of the time from a lot of women that I speak to on a regular basis, I don't have time, I don't have time, I gotta take care of everybody else, I gotta do, I gotta do and do and do and do for the kids, I gotta do for my job, I gotta do for all the people I work for or work with, or maybe I'm a leader in an online business and I gotta do for them. What about you? You guys, you cannot pour from an empty cup and I promise I'm not the only one saying this, I promise you've probably heard this 10,000 times already. Sometimes it takes it the 10,000 and one time for you to hear it, for it to click. I know that's how my brain works. Somebody can tell me something over and over and over and over. Sometimes it's a different, different voice. And it's the 27,000th time that I heard it that it actually clicks. Right? And that's okay. So if you spent 2020 always saying I don't have time for me, put time in the comments. Because I want you to think about that. And I want you to, I want you to dissect your day. If you spent all the time in the world saying I don't have time so you didn't do anything for yourself. This is where I want you to get in 2021. You got to buy some time back. You got to buy some time back for yourself. And that can be um, in a couple areas of your life, in the mornings especially. If you get up in the morning, I just listened to a really awesome training from Echo Hill this morning on this one. Echo Summer Hill is amazing. If you'll follow her, follow her. Um, she did a really amazing training this morning that I listened to. It's part of her coaching program that I'm a part of. Um, and it was all about starting your day. If you start your day with
without intention. If you start your day waking up, rolling out of bed, going right to your phone, or literally rushing from the second you woke up because you hit snooze too many times, you're setting your entire day up for to be full of stress, full of anxiety, um, and, and all the things, right? So I highly encourage you right now, if you spent 2020 talking about your time and not having enough for yourself, start with one little bitty thing, do it for yourself in the morning. So if you're waking up right now, rushing through your day because that's how you wake up, you don't get enough time, set your alarm earlier, get up. I don't want you to start with a minimum of 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the morning. If you can get up and, ten, for, and spend 10 minutes on yourself, maybe that looks like quiet time for you. Maybe that's 10 minutes. Um, like one of the things Echo was, was talking about in her training was just get up and stretch. 10 minutes of quiet time moving your body, stretching your body a little bit, getting some energy flowing, drink some water when you get up in the morning. The worst thing you can do though is pick up your phone immediately and start checking your messages, checking social media. All that's doing is putting you in a negative reaction mode full of all the crap in social media. Uh, there's some amazing positive things on social media, yes, but it can also suck your life away if you allow it to. So. I want to highly encourage you put 10 in the comments if you're if this is something that you know you need to do and once you master 10 do not go right into an hour if you're not spending any time on yourself in the morning at all i highly encourage you not to set yourself up for trying to give yourself a full hour baby step into it go 10 minutes 10 minutes of quiet time 10 minutes of maybe it's a workout if you have cardio equipment get on the treadmill get on something or maybe just pace it around your house once it gets warm outside or maybe you like the cold then get outside and walk for 10 minutes um whatever works best for you and then here's the other thing i really highly highly encourage you to do you can check your screen time in your phone how much time do you spend right here on social media right like one of the best things that echo keeps teaching uh, and, and it's resonating a lot with me is your messages will wait. You don't have to respond to every little bitty thing so every time somebody comments on your post or messages you. Even if you run an online business right here through social media, you guys, that's a blessing. But at the same time, it can kill you on the inside and kill your time if you're constantly focusing on what's going on there who commented on my stuff who liked my stuff who's messaging me i gotta hurry up because they need to buy a product for me or whatever the scenario is right like and that's that's hard for me that's one of my weaknesses because i i feel like i want to hurry up and get back to everybody right away you know and give yourself some breathing time but if you struggled 2020 spending any time on yourself whatsoever start by creating a morning habit that has you on it and like i said 10 minutes if you cannot give yourself 10 minutes, then there's a problem that we need, that I would love to chat with you about, to be honest with you. 10 minutes. Once you master 10 minutes, go to 20, then go to 30, build up to maybe you can get a full hour in before work um, or whatever your day looks like. But you have to, if you start your day with you, it's gonna be so much better of a day, you guys, I promise. I promise, start your day, check your screen time. How much time, if you spend a lot of time in 2020, or all the time talking about, I don't have time for myself, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. Again, put time in the comments if you did this. If you're guilty of this, that's okay. Like, that was me. I used to say that all the time. Until I mastered my morning, and now my me time is in the morning. That's how I start my day. That's how I show up for everybody else so much better, because I start with me first, or God first, and then me. Um, but if you spend that time saying, I don't have time, then check your screen time. I highly encourage, I'm doing this with some of the women that I'm coaching um, through their program. Why? Because a lot of them are admitting how much, how many times, how many hours they're spending on social media. Guys, if you're spending five, six, seven hours on social media a day, you have 10 minutes for yourself. I'm just going to call, I, I, you have, you have 10 minutes for yourself. Get off that social media. If you have, if you spend that much time, which actually you know, some people have admitted to me, it's six hours a day, it's seven hours a day, and some these aren't women that necessarily even run a business online. So what are you doing on social media so much? You're killing your mindset slowly is one thing, um, and two, you're taking time away from yourself. Your me time is right there in your screen time on social media. So if you're having struggles there, buy back time in that one tiny little bitty thing right there. Okay, buy back time by um, getting off your phone so much. Oh my gosh, our world is full of, uh, and it's hard, and it's an addiction. I really truly feel like our phones are an addiction. I know I have that problem sometimes, <laughs> and I find myself trying to be on it 24 seven, and it is not healthy. It's not healthy at all. Set boundaries for yourself. You have to set boundaries for yourself. If you want 2021 
to be about you. But if you struggled with time in 2020, make 2021 about you. Commit to you. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Set that morning routine. Set boundaries can also be at nighttime. If you find yourself scrolling at nighttime and it puts you in a really negative place and then you can't sleep because you're stressed out and your mind's going crazy because you saw some negative comment on somebody's post. Maybe it was your post. Um, then your best thing that you can positively do is set yourself a boundary, meaning a time that your phone gets shut off, put in the other room, do not go to bed scrolling social media. It's the worst thing in the world you can do. Um, so set a morning routine, set a bedtime routine. And if you struggle, I've had this conversation with a lot of people lately as well too. If you struggle saying no, I want you to practice saying no. Like my, I joke about this in the past, but my husband used to tell me this all the time and I would be like, whatever, babe, whatever. <laughs> Cause I was, I was that yes person saying yes to everybody. I was helping everybody else and not myself ever. I didn't help myself. Even my family were, were getting lower on the priority list cause I was helping everybody else first. Um, learn to say no. That is another boundary. Learn to say no in 2021. Okay. Learn to say no to things that are in alignment with you. Um, people will take advantage of you if you're constantly the yes person. Okay, so practice. And if this is you and you struggle with this, type out in the comments no with as many no with as, as many O's as you can physically type out, um, and, and do that. So you guys, um, I want I want you to show up a little bit more on my personal page. Again, I haven't been live or done as much on my personal page as I, I usually do because I've been working on a few things. I've been pouring so much into our Facebook group. So if you're, if you're a woman and you're not in our Facebook group, definitely be in there. Um, we've been pouring into um, coaching programs as well that I've created over this past year. Uh, also focusing and working on a uh, fitness Christian channel that we are actually launching. I got a call today to figure out the details. Colton Grant. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so there's a lot of amazing things going on. 2021 is the year, but you're going to see me more preaching to you to please put you on the priority list. Make that promise to yourself and then tell somebody about it. Tell somebody, communicate it with your family. Tell me, get in my inbox right now if this is something you're struggling with and you need help with. Um, and that's it, you guys. If it's now or never, why cannot? Why can't 2021 be about you? It should be. Because remember, when you're being selfish and taking care of yourself, guess who also benefits? Your family benefits even more and your team, if you're a leader in any kind of business, those people that you work for, your employees, like whatever your scenario looks like, everybody around you will benefit so much more by you focusing on you. So make 2021 about you. And if you're committed to that, put I am all in in the comments and I want you to do that. And again, get in my inbox. It's always open. I may be slow at responding because I'm being intentional as I'm preaching to you, but I promise uh, I will respond. So you guys love y'all. Happy Monday. I hope y'all got some value from this. It was on my heart. Um, so I wanted to come on here and share and you'll see more of me. We'll see you soon. 2021 is here. You guys, let's rock it.